Yo, welcome back to another video. This is a little bit different, man. I mean, I see the camera straight up. I'm looking rough. I need to shave. Hair looking all nappy, man. Look. Anyway, um, I want to come talk to y'all for a minute, man. Give y'all some updates on what's been going on. As you guys know, this is Christmas break. Man, as much as I love y'all, y'all are part of my family. But this is the time where I spend with my daughters um, and I dedicate my time to my kids, like completely. Um, I'm off the phone, I'm not scrolling on social media, I'm not on YouTube, um, I'm not recording videos. I'm taking care of the dogs, I'm taking care of my family, man. And um, I just wanna be really in tune with my kids, man. Uh, for y'all that don't know, I have two daughters that live in Minnesota that just got here. Um, a few days ago, and I have a daughter living in Arkansas that just got here a couple of days ago. So I've just been spending um, a lot of time with them. While all that's been going on, a lot has happened. Um, Christmas Eve, the pipes busted in Houston, Texas, in my house, the house that I have in Houston. The pipes busted, flooded my office. I'm in my office right now, flooded the office, flooded the bathroom. So I had to go outside and turn the water completely off. And then, if you know anything about how it, when you turn the water off, the valve off outside, you shut down the water throughout the whole house. So this house has not had water for the last three days. There's been no water running the house. So what we've been doing, we've been staying at Marriott. I put my family in Marriott, and we've just been ordering food, just hanging out there, um, just enjoying ourselves at the Marriott, man. So shout out Marriott. Um, so that's what's been going on, y'all. I have not been here at this house um, for longer than a two, three hours a day, and the two, three hours that I've been here has just been pulling out straw, putting in new straw, giving dogs water, making sure they have food, make sure they always have food in each kennel. I keep the things full, I keep the food containers full in the winter time. Winter time, um, they eat as much as they want, okay? So when next time you see my dogs, they will be a lot bigger than they were. Um, probably not too much bigger than they were because they always ate good, but they just a little bit bigger than they were. Um, Prince look amazing, y'all. Prince is so beautiful. I just, I wish I had the, um, I'm not gonna say I wish, I am working on getting the camera that I need to show my dogs off. I, I've been showing y'all my dogs on the phone. And as much as, the, as good as the phone is with the 4K, all that, it's really not as clear as, as some cameras are. I mean, there's some cameras out here, some lenses out here that could really show y'all how beautiful these dogs are. And they are so beautiful. Even the um, the blues, man, they are so beautiful. And I put the light in their face and the uh, red light glow on so you know they carry chocolate. They really love like, they really love like, I don't know why I keep saying blue, they really love like. So the live acts that I have, um, just very, very beautiful, man. Very, very beautiful dogs. The camera don't give them no justice, don't do them no justice. The camera don't, don't do none of my dogs any justice. And size. A lot of y'all don't know, I'm 6'3", you know, 6'4", two, like 210. So I make all my dogs look very small, but my dogs are not small at all. Um, they're not small at all. I just make my dogs look small because of my height. So yeah, man, there's a lot going on here. Um, tomorrow should be a better day. But every day is great that I'm alive. Every day I can spend with my kids is amazing. I just took my daughters in the bed. It's no better feeling than that especially because I don't get to see my kids every single day throughout the whole year. Um, just to have them so consistently, being able to see them throughout the day, throughout the night, tuck them in, feed them breakfast. It's not a better feeling than that. So that's what's been going on. I'm not depressed. I'm not, um, I don't know, I'm not like in a bad mood or anything like that, literally. Like I've been dancing and singing today with my kids, dancing, spinning around, singing, um, ordered pizza when it got pizza. It's just, it's been a great time around here, like, but I'm one of those people, like, I was born in the 90s, so I'm still a little bit old school. Like, I wasn't born in social media era. Social media came out, or Instagram and all that stuff came out in 2012. Um, YouTube wasn't a thing, wasn't a big thing back then either. It wasn't like how it is now. So, um, when I'm around my kids, it's like, I bring them back to my era. And my era is just, Keep the house warm, make sure we got hot chocolate, make sure we got good music, watching old movies, 
um, a bunch of hugs, a bunch of kisses, went outside, um, rode on the scooters. Um, yeah, just, just stuff like that. It's been very intimate. Um, it's been a very intimate moment I've been spending with my children. And um, I appreciate that every bit. So it's not like I'm purposely taking a break from social media or Instagram or YouTube, anything like that. No, I'm just really being in tune with my children. Um, because I think this is very important, especially because they don't get to see me as often as they want. So when they are around me, they have their daddy, they have their daddy full throttle. Like, from the moment they go to sleep, I'm tucking them in, from them waking me up in the morning, telling me, Dad, I want pancakes. Okay, so that's what's going on. Um, as far as puppies available, I do have puppies available. The three lilacs, they are available as Duke and as two females. And I'm still selling Prince. Prince is 30. I'm not going to even tell y'all how much the dogs are anymore. If you're interested in any one of my dogs, you contact me at 206-499-0422. And starting out from now on to the New Year's throughout my account, I'm no longer putting price on social media. Okay? Because a lot of y'all get, get the price misconstrued. I give you a great price. You think my dogs are cheap. No, I just give you a great price, okay? My dogs are very, very expensive bloodline. Um, there's people that are selling the same blood I have, six, seven, eight, nine thousand dollars The same exact blood, the exact same blood for a triple the amount I'm selling mine for. And the reason I'm having a hard time moving mine is because the price that I have them at. Um, I got y'all thinking that I have cheap dogs. And it's not y'all's fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault that you're thinking that. It's my fault because I put the a low price on the internet and I gave myself, um, I just gave y'all low energy when it comes down to the price of my dogs. Um, there's no other breeder that shows everything that I show. And I'm not saying that in a good way or a bad way, it's just I'm very in tune, I'm very transparent. I showed you guys way too much. So now a lot of y'all think that, um, that y'all know everything. A lot of y'all do not. The raffle didn't go as what go another thing, the raffle didn't go what I wanted to go, so I stopped the raffle. Everybody has got their money back. Those that did enter the raffle, I have something very special for every last one of y'all that entered the raffle. I appreciate y'all so much. Cause you didn't have to, and I told y'all from the jump. This wasn't about trying to get rich. It wasn't about trying to get money. This was like if I did the raffle, I was gonna bless so many people with the money. I was gonna give out every single dollar that I made from the raffle, I was gonna give it away. I was gonna give it away. I was gonna bless somebody with a dog. I was gonna give somebody 500, give the other person 250, and I was gonna send everybody money for lunch. Everybody money for little presents. I was just gonna send out every bit that I gained from that raffle. But the raffle didn't do what I wanted to do. So God has other plans. God maybe didn't want me to do that, okay? He may, he may want me to do something completely different. So whenever things don't work out the way I want it to work out, it means that there's a bigger purpose for it. There's a bigger, um, it's a bigger plan. So um, even with the plumbing, um, with the house flood and everything like that, us going to the room, maybe it was meant to do that. Maybe the house was meant to flood. Everything that happens to me is completely my fault. And um, I roll with every punch. I don't complain. I don't do none of that. I think complaining and all that is weak. Um, you just deal with whatever, whatever comes your way, deal with it, deal with it. I deal with everything that comes my way, I deal with it. And I'm I'm able to deal with it financially because I don't spend a lot of money on, on, on things that I do not need. Okay, um Yeah, so I just been grinding, putting in the work with my family. Um if for those that are interested in puppies, you know how to contact me. The number again is two zero six four nine nine zero four two two. And this is just an update. I'm my dog's doing very, very well. My dog's doing very, very well. My family's doing very, very well as well. So, hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Shout out to everybody that commented in Merry Christmas underneath the comment section. I really do appreciate every last one of y'all. If you haven't already, go uh, follow my Instagram page at nbf underscore kennel. I have so many more things ahead of y'all, ahead of me, um, that I'm going to be doing on this channel. I have so many sponsorships that I've been replying to on emails. So many great things is coming in this camp, man. Like, and I'm so excited. I have a couple of females on the way. So many good breedings. Um, 2023 is going to be a special year for me. It's going to be one of my best years. This is my first year breeding, and I went crazy. So just know next year is going to be so much better. And we're going to move forward, man. Catch you guys in the video. Love y'all.